All right, we're joined in here by Coach, along with players. Coach, if you could get us started, uh, start with a brief opening statement, and then we'll we'll take questions from the crowd. Yeah, right? obviously uh, not the performance we were looking for. Um, very disappointed in the result. Um, you know, a lot of people might have thought this was going to happen, and we were trying our hardest to make sure that uh, it didn't. Um, Try to give these guys the best plan we could possible um, to to beat LSU, and you know I, we were believing we could do it. Uh, obviously, um, that did not happen. Uh, so very disappointed in the result, uh, but I'm proud of our guys' effort. I thought that um, you know they practiced hard. I thought they actually gave great effort today. Um, we just uh, we just didn't have enough. Uh, to, to go win the game. We didn't execute at a high enough level uh, to win the football game or to even be in it. Um, but effort was there, execution uh, was not. We'll uh, take questions from the crowd. If you have, your, if you have a question, raise your hand. We'll start with Kyle here, and then we'll go on the right. Cheryl. Coach, uh, Kyle Nash, the point conversion. Um, I know this uh, situation leading up to the game was pretty unique. Um, are there any particular lessons or anything you would do in preparing for the game this week? Yeah, it was very unique. Um, the, whole, uh, the whole month uh, had a lot of different uh, things happening. Um, you know, obviously starting with uh, Jeff taking the Louisville job and then um, multiple assistant coaches uh, also departing at that time. Um, and then you start talking to our senior players uh, that, that uh, were really most of our production uh, throughout the season and um, guys with NFL futures that wanted to protect themselves and, and uh, didn't feel like it was in their best interest to play. So you, you lose um, a lot of firepower there off the top. Um, and then your guys is in flux, right? So who's going to be the new coach? Does the new coach want me? Um, do I need to get in the transport portal? Uh, and even your coaches in the same position, do I have a job once the bowl game's over? So a lot of things um, happening uh, and going on. But in, in, in all honesty, I felt, like, um, I felt like the coaches stayed locked in. I felt like the players were locked in. Um, we, just, we just couldn't get it done today. Hey, right, Sanusi, can you sort of just assess – the program going forward and the type of footing you think Purdue is in? Uh, I think we're in a good spot. Uh, a month ago, we were playing in the Big Ten Championship. So it's not like um, there's any like reload, rebuild, or anything that needs to be done. It's just uh, progressing and moving forward to uh, the goal, which is eventually winning the Big Ten Championship. Thanks for questions. All right, we'll take one on the back center. This is Melissa Thomas with Florida National News. Just wanted to find out the status of Dion since he got escorted off the field um, in the stretcher. Yeah, I haven't uh, been updated on, on his status. Um, the, the reason the stretcher came out is because there was some tenderness in the, in the neck area. Um, obviously, he, his head hit the, the turf pretty hard. Um, so they're evaluating him uh, as we speak, and we, we hope and pray that uh, everything's going to be OK. Right, take one down front here. Brian, obviously today's res result, you know, stings, but take me back, you know, when, when this coaching staff came here, this was a program that was in the dumps. It was, you know, bottom of the power fives. And to win nine games last year, eight this year, you kind of feel like, you know, this group collectively accomplished quite a bit, even though, you know, the last image right now was 63 to 7. Yeah, you know, I think so. I think um, for, for the most part, we've, we came in uh, kind of right away and at least instilled some belief in, in the players that, that they could compete, that they could go out and win, that they could uh, win big time games. And um, we were obviously able to accomplish that uh, a number of times and, and beat ranked opponents and, and pull off upsets. Um, you know, I, I think there's still some ways to go um, as far as trying to get to that upper echelon uh, of teams and, and teams in the Big Ten. 
Uh, I think it was a great year this year uh, to get to the Big Ten championship. Now we did lead, need a little bit of a little bit of help uh, help along the way to get in there. Um, that's kind of how the Big Ten West has, has been going as of late. Um, but I, I feel like the program's in a good spot. I think Coach Walters uh, is, is going to inherit a program of guys that are tough, that want to play hard, that want to win. Um, and, you know, I, I hope that he's able to keep it going and, and, uh, and take it to the next level. I told the guys after the game, um, you know, we want to see you guys be successful in the future. Uh, we want to see you in the Big Ten Championship next year as well. Um, you know, loved, uh, loved my time at Purdue. Uh, a lot of great people, a lot of great relationships. Uh, hurts to end it this way. And it's kind of stuck around to try to make sure that this didn't happen. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, it did. But uh, it wasn't for lack of effort. I thought coaches and players, um, you know, put in the effort uh, to try to go get a victory. Just, just didn't make it work. Come on the right over here. TJ, I know it's fresh, but what is this this game and this experience and this loss going to do for you guys moving into the off season? Uh It's just going to make us grind harder. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, starting with uh, Coach Walters and just getting back to it. Questions? On the right. I know it's I know it's a team sport, Brian. But was any uh, any disappointment not seeing Devin get to a thousand yards rushing? Yeah, um, yeah. I kind of threw him back in there at the end a little bit because uh, I knew he needed about thirty eight, thirty nine yards. Um, obviously the. You kind of value, you don't want to risk him getting hurt, right? And but uh, you'd like to see him get to that thousand yard mark. Um, we wish we could have got him there. Um, just we weren't, you know. I don't know that we had a big play today, to be honest. Um, if we could uh, bust a few runs, get a, get a get a little bit of momentum, um, I think we could have done a few things, but uh, just just wasn't our day. Any additional questions from the room? Left side here. Brian, was there anything playing LSU in person that was more than what st what you saw on film? What did you take from seeing them live? I mean, I I obviously thought we would do a lot better, uh, but uh, this is what you saw on film. I mean, they're athletic, they're long, they're fast, uh, they play with speed. Uh, we knew that. We knew that coming in. Um, but we, we, we thought we could give them a much better game than we did. Um, so, I, you know, yeah, very good team. Hats off to them. I think they got a bright future. I think Coach Kelly has that place uh, going in the right direction. Um, so uh, I look for them to, to keep building on this for next year. That quarterback, both, really both those quarterbacks are really good. Um, so he's got a, a wealth at the, uh, at the position. Um, and I think they're both coming back. So I'd expect LSU to, to have – uh, some some big expectations for next season. Any more? All right, Do one more up front. For Sanusi and for TJ, just you talk about the program going forward, but you know this season clearly was special, even though it didn't end the way you wanted it to. Um, when you came to Purdue, obviously you wanted to help turn this program around. You kind of leave here feeling like you know we lost to LSU, but you know. The last couple of years has been pretty pretty fun to be a part of. Uh, I think I think we've done a great job this year. Uh, we've definitely made history at Purdue. Uh, we just didn't put it together today, uh, but I'm ready to get back to it uh, next season. Yeah, and I just feel like uh, we just got a, a brotherhood now. Uh, obviously, like since I've gotten here, uh, I, we had some low moments, but we've definitely had some highs. You know, we got a brotherhood in that locker room. So regardless of what anybody does, if they enter the portal or anything like that, it's a brotherhood down there. And I love every single one of those guys in that room. So, uh, And I know they'll fight for me the same way I'll fight for them. So uh, I just – it's 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 a, it's a great experience, you know. Obviously, you don't want to lose, but it is what it is. The game happens. So going, moving on to the next, moving on to the next season, and um, just going to ground with my brothers. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate your time. All right, thank you.